this is a tracking storm or probably uh, how to get 20 minutes into five. Uh, this presentation is not about storm tracking, it's about tracking storm. Right. Okay, so he loves going out and about and a couple of times he just stayed away for, for too long and we thought, where the hell is he? So in the end, we bought this little thing, a little GPS collar. Okay, that's what it looks like on him. Uh, and of course it has its own tracking site, which is nice. Uh, and it has a bunch of settings that we can do, like, you know, what are the GPS signals, how often do we want them, all those lovely things. When he's close to the house, he connects to our Wi-Fi, so he's not chewing up the, uh, the GPS signals and the, uh, and the uh, uh, little 3G connection on his collar. And, um, yeah, it was pretty good. But there's some tracking site limitations. I couldn't get the raw data. There was no feed off that. I wanted to know, you know what his track lines were. I wanted to know his territory. And I wanted to know how many kilometres does he travel. All right. So luckily, you, as you know, all hackers do, you scrape their site and you manage to get some JSON data and then you manage to sort of push that into PostGIS, which is cool. And of course, with a little bit of magic, um, you can create some geometry points and then some line segments and some polygons and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what the initial points look like. And we only thought he went down to that bottom area and of course he's going way up around the hill somewhere. Um, and this is one, one night's activity, right? So it's only one night. <laughs> okay. So that's kind of his territory. But, you know, you sort of look at that territory and there's, there's houses he just does not go near. That's why. <laughs> okay. So a lot of our neighbours have dogs and he just will not go near those places. Okay. So that was back in 2017, over a 12-hour period. He covered five kilometres that night. It was a windy, rainy, horrible night. He still went out there and did his 5Ks. And of course, he spent 12 hours of the next sleeping like that beside me. All right. So come 2018, Q just now has some 3D capabilities. So I thought, oh, well, this would be pretty cool to actually see what it's like in 3D. So this is what we've got. So that terrain there is up around uh, the north of Napier, where we live. Uh, and it's an area called Bayview. Uh, and if we turn on some buildings, oops, there we go. Um, we start to see all the uh, building footprints appear, which have been extruded out. And that's our place just sitting in there, sort of halfway up the hill. Okay, so where did Storm end up going? Well, all these little wee blue dots are the little track points. So every seven minutes, I think it was. Uh, and of course, We've got the, uh, the lines coming out of uh, PostGIS as well, uh, with a little bit of styling on them. And of course, uh, move that out a little bit. Um, that's where all the dogs are. Okay. <laughs> so it gives us a little bit of a perspective on it. And we can see that as we go around the hill, he's actually followed that contour line pretty much around the hill. So he's a lazy little bugger, eh? <laughs> Yep, and he seems to spend quite a bit of time up around this house. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, um, judging by the amount of mice he brings home at night, it's probably something like that there. Uh, there was one little sort of outlier, and he went way, way over the back here somewhere and down into a vineyard. Um, we really think that that's probably a, a bit of a, a misreading on the GPS unit because it's just a, re just a really odd one. Yeah. And um, so... At that point there, of course, we can, we can overlay anything really. So uh, we could overlay some aerial imagery from lens or whatever. Um, so next steps, hopefully the next time I come to this uh, WASAT uh, lightning talks is show some animation. we will actually show I'm doing the track and may maybe, maybe even with a little bit of a camera sort of view as well. So we can actually see what he gets up to. Uh, but we'll leave that for next time. What about his privacy? <laughs> <laughs> he signed a waiver when he came to us from the SPCA. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I, I think that's me. Is there, is there any questions on that? <laughs> that's a really good question. Um, it'll actually last uh, almost two days, um, but that particular little unit we bought sort of, what, four or five years ago, I think, um, much better units now. Um, they'll, they'll last you sort of, you know, almost a week. Um, we've got two interchangeable batteries, so you slip the battery off the collar and charge it via USB somewhere and put the other one on and away you go, so, yeah. Excellent.
Thank you.